Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we are back for some more Solasta with the Lost Valley DLC. In the previous episode we arrived at this area and this is in the... Um, what's the name? I think this is the Lost Temple or something. Uh, I think it's the Lost Temple. And this is the treasure room, which we open by stepping on the four pressure plates, one for each symbol on the door. And once we opened the door, we got attacked by like uh, the ape king or something. <laughs> um, we defeated him, picked up some cool loot and are about to explore this new area. Which I'm not Ooh. I'm not sure what it holds. I should probably rest before doing this in case we get ambushed again, but it's stronger than me. <laughs> Well done. Confusion, Shard of Ice, Money, Emerald. I am most curious about the sarcophagus. A magnificent short bow. It's just a short bow plus one, it looks like. And finally, we have, I'm guessing, scrolls. Oh, not scrolls. Actually, crafting potions, um, crafting manuals. I, I think I should probably have them all because we purchased a bunch of them. Yeah, I think we have them all, except the bolts. Yeah. And what is this? Okay, we have everything here. Uh, uh, okay. What else did I want? Nothing. Ah, the sarcophagus. So what do you hold? Something juicy, perhaps? Something wonderful? Oh, a superb scimitar. <clears throat> it looks like simply a plus one scimitar, but okay. <clears throat> That's gonna be a weapon for... Madruid. Madrud. There you go. And is there any place else that I want to explore? I'm not sure if this actually has anything. It doesn't seem to. There are no torches on the inside. This looks just like a, a dead area here. And we have the resting spot. Wait, where am I? This is the campfire. Ah, I'm here. No, I think this is done. I think this is done. We looted everything in the region. Ah, I did not go over there. Okay, let's go over there. No, I, I've looted this before. I want to go there, yes. Okay, you can climb. Red can also okay, climb. Uh, but this is actually just an empty area, right? Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, well then just, just move on. Okay. Explored, explored, explored. Explored everything here as well. Uh, so I think we're just gonna go out. Yep, this is just... Exit. The Scarab Temple is done, my friends. I gotta remember for the next rest we need to attune some items and swap some stuff around. How many quests do we have here? Just one. Ah, the Tyrant. I don't want to go kill the guy yet. I think that seems a bit... Precocious. Dina, Secret Facility... We have one quest here, we have two quests there, one here, one here, the renewal. Okay, let's go for the swamp. I, I interrupted. Oh no, never mind. Resume. Ah, this is what I want. So, I want to attune. I'm gonna... It's kind of sad. 
but I'm gonna remove this one, which I do like. See, it, it, it does make me a little bit sad, but I will remove this to get this one, Truth, uh, because it should work out very well against these uh, particular enemies. <clears throat> And it's also just a plus two shortbow. Legendary weapon, apparently. Okay. Uh, what else did I want to do? I think in terms of attunement, this is done. Ah, I think, I, yeah, I want to remove this. Because this sucks for me, the wisdom. And I want the intellect band, sure. And you, I could give him the boots. No, I think I like the things he has currently. Yeah, okay. Uh, prepare spells. I wanted to remove something. <clears throat> this, I want to remove this. What do you take out? Do you take out Stunned? Blind, Disease, Paralyzed, Poisoned, Charmed, Cursed, Drained or Petrified? I mean, this, this also isn't that terrible, right? <clears throat> okay, let's keep it, let's keep it. Okay, resume. Uh, three shambling mounds. I think these are worth a fair bit of experience and they are very easy to kill. So let's just, let's just quickly deal with them. And I think they are resistant to fire even though they are plants. Okay. Um... Insect Plague wouldn't be bad. Can I do it in a way that if I send Conan in, he does not get hit? Yeah, like this. I think it works. Okay, do it. And I can still haste him. Okay. Good shot. Let's... I'm actually gonna do this. Twin spell, and I'm gonna haste Conan and Red. Lovely. Uh, let's move... Just, just go over there. We are gonna take the high ground for Predator. Seems effortless. Can you hide? No. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh. We're gonna go over here. Rage. Reckless. And start smacking. No quarter given. Ooh. Oh man, almost, almost. Suck. You'll get a nice scar. Okay, <clears throat> I did not get stunned and he died. I will count that as a win. Let's move over here and cast a Blight. Forty Necrotic, I like it. Um... I'm not sure what to do with you. Maybe just go over here. 
and get some magic missiles going. We can even cast as a level 5 <laughs> for 7 missiles. Yes. <laughs> this is like one hit from the Barbarian. If he rolls a nice amount. Okay, so he's dead here. To sneak damage. Good yep. kill. And now my thought process is hide. <clears throat> Ooh, god damn. Ah, oh, because she's hasted, of course. Let's move. And hit this guy. Really? That was my crit? She rolled two twos? Ah, the sneak attack damage is already dealt. Okay. Uh, I can get up close to him. Awesome. Let's start swinging. Take that. Like, I should have a record of how many ones I roll for damage with the two-handed axe. That's better. Okay. More coming your way. Nope. Just pass. Just pass. Come on, nice sneak damage. You still have a chance. Thank you. Wow, three hit points. There we go. Okay. 1000 experience level up. So yeah, totally worth it. Let's take some of our crafting stuff and... Break this concentration and this one as well. And let's pick up the remaining stuff. Okay. So I think it's still kind of early in the episode, so I'm, I might as well just do the level ups here. Yeah. Okay, so level 10 Barbarian. Rock solid. Ah, this is what I really wanted. While raging, you gain plus one AC per hostile opponent that you can see within one cell of you, up to a maximum of plus four. This is a very cool boost. That's done. Level up for you. Nature's Ward. You are immune to charm or fear effects caused by elementals or phase, as well as to poison and disease. Nice. <clears throat> oh, I got a cantrip. I think I'm gonna take uh, Shilag. Because this is a cantrip. It's not considered a... Um, concentration spell. And the attacks are performed using the spell casting ability. Okay. In terms of spells, take this out. And let me take one great restoration here. I think that's what I want. Um I'm just thinking if there's something else I would rather take other than this stuff. Protection from poison, cures and protects for one hour. Haste, dispel... Maybe I should take one dispel magic. Instead of something like entangle, which I never use. Or just instead of good berries. I have a bunch of rations. Uh, where is it? Here, dispel magic. Okay. 
Edwin. Oh, we unlocked another meta magic option. So what do I want? I don't want quickened. Uh, I'm not particularly interested in careful spell, although it might not be too bad. And it's always just a one sorcery point. Double the range of the spell. Oh, I can change the range of a touch spell up to 30 feet. All damage dice rolls of one or two are re-rolled. Might not be bad. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe this one. I mean, this is not... <laughs> It's not an easy choice. <laughs> this one I do I, I know I don't want. This one I also know I don't particularly need. This can be useful, this can be useful and this can be useful. But the one that's that can always be useful is empowered spell. These two are kind of sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's worthless. Okay, so empowered spell here. And Ooh, class cantrip. True strike! No, it sucks. Uh, sparkle, shocking grasp. I mean, these are just cantrips, right? I shouldn't worry too much about it. Melee hit. 1d6 acid damage. Uh, poison spray. The range is really small. 1d8 psychic damage and can save to negate eh. but I mean sure it's a different type of damage so I can unlearn one of my spells truth be told I'm not really using slow or hypnotic pattern <clears throat> but I'm still not convinced I want to lose them mind twist we've seen is very good and I kind of wanted a different element of damage and Cone of Cold might just be it. Hmm. The range is pretty short. I think I'm gonna keep what I have <clears throat> and I'm just gonna take Cone of Cold. Okay. And finally, Red. Oh, she gets an ability score choice, really. <clears throat> or a feat, right? Huh. What feats do I have that I could want? Mm. Don't really care about this sucks on a rogue. No. No. Hmm. Maybe just get better wi uh, wisdom saves. Proficiency in wisdom saves might not be bad. Yeah, maybe do this. Proficiency in wisdom saves. Because I don't think I am proficient with this. How can I tell? Plus four proficiency bonus. Uh, you are proficient with int saving throws and with dexterity saving throws, but not with wisdom. Okay, so let's go for that. It, it doesn't show yet, it should show soon. 
Hopefully. <laughs> okay. That's done. Okay. I don't think I want to attune anything else. I think I'm fine. Yep, I am fine, I believe. Wisdom... Okay. I might want to swap... Oh, I cannot swap items right now. Okay. Resume. Forge camp. Let's check out the scavenger billboard, see if we have some more money to pick up. But at this point, we do have a lot of money right now. I'm gonna have to see if there's anything else I wanna buy. But I feel I feel like in in Crown of the um, of the Magistrate, Magister. <laughs> in the original campaign, there were more magical items to find. There really aren't many here, unless it's something that only the Dominion faction sells, and in that case, it's gonna suck balls because I cannot buy it from them anymore. Thank you for coming, my friends. What news has Jabal? Things have been heating up in the valley, and Oranetta seems quite upset. Well, yes, he doesn't like upstart newcomers, apparently. We found a heavily protected building deep in the swamps. Oranetta's best troops are stationed there. Mm. According to our contacts in town, it's where he conducts his most secret experiments. Let's go. It's time we got some answers. Answers to what? The question of whether our beloved Lord Protector is really a protector or something more sinister. The forge is with you. We'll take all the blessings we can get. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Excuse me? By... Uh, by picking up this quest... I have changed from 53 to negative 70. What kind of sense is this? No, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. I will not take this. <clears throat> this is way too stupid. It doesn't make any sense. I will not pick up this quest. At least not right now. I'm either gonna complete all of the rebellion quests and then come back to this guy or I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. Then again, maybe if I complete the rebellion quests, I'm gonna lose uh, access to the forge? And then what? I don't have any more billboards for the scavengers? No, no, dude, Jesus, man, that's not what I want. Maybe this one? God damn it, man. This is so dumb. I really don't like what they did with the, uh, with the game on this regard. This faction stuff is 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 just no. It's just a big no no. Okay, so oh god, I gotta level up again. Sorry guys, uh, but I have to do this. Why? Why would they do this, man? It doesn't make any kind of sense. It's not enjoyable. If this is what they're aiming for, there should be a clearer line <clears throat> on... Um, I don't know what you're doing, like have a different quest line, something that tells you uh, by going this way you are, I don't know, going against the rebellion and as such, uh, I don't know, something that makes you understand what you're doing. Because right now, there's not much of that. Uh, what did I pick up? Dispel magic. Yes. 
Forward. Uh, Shadow Dagger. Ignore and Cone of Cold. Speed. This one. Uh, everything is as it should be. Yes. Okay. So resume. Um, I will go there, but I, I won't speak to Ashdrubal. Because I think my current quest with the Rebellion is to kill everybody in the palace. And I don't want to lose that quest. Then again... Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to see what happens, honestly. I, I, I'm not liking the way these decisions are made for me. Why can't I help the Rebellion and the Forge? They're kind of both going for the same goal. Quick save. Okay, let's not talk to this guy and just go here. Okay, I want the ingredients. Everything else we can sell. Okay. <clears throat> what other magical items do you have? Hello? Thank you. Uh... Why can't I... Ah, it doesn't have any more. Okay. The Bracers of Archery. Emote of Hell. I, ha I have all this stuff. So I'm not particularly concerned with picking up anything from this guy. I also don't really have much to sell. Except maybe stuff like this. A valuable item you can sell. I have no, no clue what this is for. Valuable item. Dagger. Okay. So, I don't want to talk to this guy. Uh, I would say let's just leave. It feels so weird. Okay, no other quests in the region. Let's just get the hell away from here. And before we start... Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Let's go check out this mysterious ruin. Uh, no, thank you. Oops. Nice. Craft some more. Okay. Is there any kind of item that I might want to craft? This allows me to cast heal. We have chainmail of sturdiness. Not interested. Dagger. Cloak of the dandy. No thank you. Acuteness, accuracy. Oh, this is... Wait, can... can but I don't think druids can wear medium armor, right? Hmm. Just a plus one to AC. Ech. Doomblade. There's nothing really very interesting, honestly. Vestment of the Primal Oak. Plus two to AC, plus two on int nature ability checks, grants proficiency in nature, AC set to 13. I might make this. But we only have one diamond. 
What else is it used for? This needs a blood ruby. Okay, I I'll just have to think about what I actually want to do um, in terms of items some other time. Okay, for now, just craft the arrows and be happy. And this is kind of whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is the mysterious place. Uh, one thing I definitely feel like this game doesn't do very well, and this I'll also go over when we finish the game and I do my small end game rant or review, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the way the game uh, does the quests or, or gives you the quests, it's so... Um, it's, it's all over the place. <clears throat> you can't follow a, a quest line like end-to-end. -end. You're always getting interrupted by something else. And that feels like I'm doing this quest right now, which is a mysterious place. And I don't even know where I got this spell from, <clears throat> this spell, this quest. It's from the forge, but... Look for any clue about what happened to the Lord for... Ah, okay, so there apparently were some scouts that got lost, and that's why we're doing this. I didn't even remember. So, yeah, there, there definitely is a problem with the flow of the quests uh, in this game. I wanted to swap something here as well, before I forget. I want you to have this magical stuff. Uh, this is only really good for monstrosities and aberrations, but it's not very different from the longbow. So, you know, might as well just use it. And... I also had a scimitar that I wanted to identify. This one. A superb scimitar. Scimitar plus one, okay. Kind of expected, but whatever. Uh, so I have this, which kind of sucks because I don't have a strength bonus. I actually have a strength penalty. This will give me a plus eight to hit. And I'm also curious as to how this works with um, Shillog, or, or whatever the name is. Um, okay. So there's a green blade, there's a chieftain. At this point, these are just like easy peasy kills, right? <clears throat> I can just kill this guy right out. I'm not even worried about this. They have a shaman. <laughs> Half his HP gone. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's unhide. And I guess we're just going to go for this guy. There's a beast monster over there. Okay, let's rage. Let's do our typical routine here. Oh my god. I love leaving people at 1 HP. <laughs> Uh, Edwin, uh, what are you doing? Maybe we can just kill the chief? No, let's try and kill the shaman. I I just don't know if I can move like this on a straight line. Because I can't see the shaman from here. Oh, but I can see him from here though. Okay, then this works. Uh, because I want to do this with advantage. Sure, let's empower it. It only costs a single sorcery point. Eh. The first one missed. That's why we didn't have the bonus of the, the red dragon fire damage there. Uh... 
Uh, I'm not even gonna bother too much with this. Like, there's no point in wasting a level 3 slot or something. Because these are very easy enemies. Conan's just gonna kill the shaman right now. Actually, she's gonna kill the shaman right now. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, Edwin will kill him. We are gonna go for the beast master. There's a button here. Okay. I'm not sure what for. Opens or closes a door. Okay. So I will simply guarantee the kill with the magic missile. It's just a level 1 spell. So we're fine. Ah, oh, come on, man. <sighs> okay, I'll I'll use a level three spell then. He was gonna make himself immune to magical to magic missiles. Okay, good roll. What is my AC right now? I'm, I thought it was higher. Nice damage. <laughs> I love it. I have 22 AC. Did he roll exactly 22? 23, 21. Um, how does he hit me on a roll with 21? Okay, I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. Because I want to ask some people about this. But it, it seems weird. He shouldn't be able to hit me there. Okay, we don't need to, to be hiding. Let's open up a door. Which I guess does nothing, but we gained the bandit's journal. Alright. I have to step on those? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Wait. We followed them to the entrance of the temple, but we lost them inside. This place is far too dangerous for us to risk it. We don't get paid enough anyway. We will leave tomorrow. Uh, so, can, can I open the door now? Wow, this room wasn't there before. Ah, it changes. Okay. Wait, do I have to...
Wait. Look, an underground lake or river. What are you talking about? This is a library. <laughs> what? In the Badlands. We get it. Thank you. So where do we go? Books or fish? <laughs> That's called fish. Wait, tracks spotted. Where? There are tracks over here, but not over there. So in that case, I think we're going over here. So this is the library and this is the river. Okay. Okay, so I actually kind of lost track of time. This is actually time for us to end the episode. <laughs> so I will decide uh, at the start of the next one, but I'm guessing we're just gonna go for the tracks. I was initially um, thinking about going to the um, underground river, just because it seems a little bit different. Uh, but since we have tracks on this one, we're gonna go for this one. Uh, in any case, guys, that's it for this one. As always, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching me play some Solasta with the Lost Valley and Primal Calling DLCs. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything at all, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. They are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.